Hello everyone, I am Priya Singh and right now I am in Warsaw, Poland and I am doing my PhD in Physics uh, from Institute of Physics, Polish Academy of Sciences and uh, uh, right now it's quite cold here, it's minus 3 degree Celsius outside. So to start with, I would first like to share my educational background. So. Uh, I did my bachelor honors in physics from Mithri College and it was a affiliated college uh, from DU and then after that I took an year gap. I completed my bachelor honors in physics in 2016 and after that I took an year gap and uh, in that uh, year gap I met Atul sir and all of a sudden my life turned upside down actually it turned up for a better better thing and uh, when he first uh, saw me he uh, told my father that I will do that she will do and uh, at that point in time my father was quite worried he was uh, quite worried about my future like what I will do in life so his belief in me it helped me to ace where I am today so uh, after that uh, uh, I got IIT Delhi in 2017 and from period of 2017 to 2019 I completed my masters from there and uh, after that I I did a project uh, in Jawaharlal Nehru University on quantum dots. Also, my project in uh, IIT Delhi was based on theoretical particle physics. So, it was one year project and I learned a lot of new things about elementary physics, elementary particle physics and also uh, group theory and various other subjects that were there. Also, uh, I took year gap uh, after that also. That is two year gap. Uh, that is uh, from 2019 to 2021, two years gap. I uh, furnished myself, I furnished my uh, physics. Actually, uh, in that point, so it was one year project and I learned a lot of new things about elementary physics, elementary particle physics and also uh, group theory and various other subjects that were there. So also uh, I took year gap uh, after that also, that is two year gap. Uh, that is uh, from 2019 to 2021, two years gap. I uh, furnished myself, I furnished my uh, physics. Actually, uh, in that point in time, uh, I, I was uh, preparing for CSIR net, for gate, but I was not able to clear that because of mistakes that I was doing regularly like uh, I was not focusing much on the basics I was not focusing much on my on, on developing uh, the base in physics I was just uh, behind the formulas and everything so never do this thing in life we, if, if you want to study physics then first you should go uh, from the basic level and then to the higher level High level physics. High level physics is quite difficult, but uh, first you you should start from the basics. That will help you ace in any examination. If your basics and concepts are clear, then you can achieve any success in any exam. Also, uh, these uh, two years uh, I studied physics in a deep manner. I learned from my mistakes i failed in csir exam i failed in gate exam but uh, those failures it helped me to study physics in a deep 
वी एंड एट दैट पॉइंट इन टाइम आई वॉज एबल टू कनेक्ट वेरियस थिंग्स लाइक क्वेंटम मैकेनिक्स इज नॉट डिफरेंट फ्रॉम स्टैटिस्टिकल मैकेनिक्स दे आर इंटरलिंकड एंड इन द सेम मैनर इफ वी हैव अ डिफरेंशियल इक्वेशन इन क्लासिकल फिजिक्स देन वी कैन यूज मैथमेटिकल मेथड्स टू सॉल्व इट so mathematical physics and classical physics they are they are also not different so i you i i studied in this manner and when i was interviewed at uh, poland so the first question is six that will help you ace in any examination if your basics and concepts are clear then you can achieve any success in any exam also uh these uh, two years uh, i studied physics in a deep manner i learned from my mistakes i failed in csir exam i failed in gate exam but uh, those failures it helped me to study physics in a deep way and in, at that point in time i was able to connect various things like quantum mechanics is not different from statistical mechanics they are interlinked and in the same manner if we have a differential equation uh in classical physics then we can use mathematical methods to solve it so mathematical physics and classical physics they are they are also not different so i you i i studied in this manner and when i was interviewed at uh, poland so the first question that my supervisor asked me was uh, that if i have a series rlc circuit then what is the solution for this circuit and uh, he gave me hint uh, he gave me hint that you should use classical harmonic oscillator as its solution so you know uh, the differential equation of classical harmonic oscillator it's second order differential equation right so for that uh, we have uh, two types of solution so depending on that i i said okay uh, for classical harmonic oscillator we have cosine and sine kind of uh, solution and all of a sudden he was uh, he was happy because uh, this is what he wanted so uh, you should study physics in this manner only like connecting things in connecting way and also uh, in these two years i never gave up i always wanted to be curious i always learned from my mistakes and that's why i'm here right now and maybe uh in future also if i'll do some mistake i'll i'll learn from those mistakes and i will try to mold myself into a better a better priya that is a better priya sign so yes that's my story thank you